<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I'm going to be showing you all if you have a jailbroken PS4, how you can set up an offline account activation on your system and therefore essentially have a PSN activated account on your offline jailbroken PlayStation 4. Now that is to say, I do want to clarify, this has nothing to do with taking your system onto PSN or getting onto PSN. It has nothing to do with that. However, it will allow us to take an account such as the one I have here, which is an offline account, and register it to be set up like an actual PlayStation Network account is on our system. Now, if you're wondering why you might want to do that, it does unlock a few extra features on here. One of the features being if you ever want to do remote play with your jailbroken PS4, you'll be able to do so once you have an activated account. But it does have to be activated to an actual PSN account that you can access. Additionally, it will give you save data management within the XMB itself. Currently, since this is an offline account, if I want to transfer any of my game saves over to a USB drive, I'm not able to do that without something such as Apollo Save Tool. However, you can even see right here, if I go into settings and I go over to the save data management, if I try to transfer anything from a USB drive, you'll see that it's asking me to update to use this feature. So we'll be able to actually use this here. Additionally, I will show you all as well too, as a little bit of an added bonus, and this is typically how it goes. If you have an actual PlayStation Network account, you can take your account ID and actually register it on this system here. It does not need to touch PSN servers, it does not need to access that, but one of the nice benefits is if you have, let's say, a completely stock and online PS4 or PS5, Let's say you're playing some games on your jailbroken PS4, like you might be playing Bloodborne and you might be leveling yourself up or something. You can then play Bloodborne on your jailbroken PS4, take your save, dump it to a USB drive using the options right here, and then move that over to your PS4 or PS5, which is online, and continue to play on that legitimate system. So it does have a few nice benefits, which I'll show you how to unlock here. Now you are going to need a few things to get started. The first thing is going to of course be a jailbroken PS4. I'm going to be using this one which is running the latest BDJB Laps 1.2 jailbreak, but as long as you're able to actually run homebrew, you should be good. We're also going to need a USB drive because I'm going to show you how to transfer your data and such, and we're also going to need to download and install Apollo Save Tool. So with all that in place, let's go ahead, grab a USB drive, and move over to the computer. The first thing you'll need is the Apollo Save Tool from Bucanero. Now I would recommend, once you come over to the GitHub repository here, go ahead and give this a good read. There's a lot of great features right here, and it goes into more detail about save management and especially account management, which this is what we're going to be looking for right here. But in order to download the latest build, you just need to scroll up here, go over to the releases section, and then download the package file for the latest release that you can find here. It would also be recommended to see what has been added and such, so you can see a few things like cheat codes that have been added in, custom checksum support for a few different games here. I wasn't even expecting the Lunar games on here, but really awesome to see. Either way, download the latest package and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Once you have your package file right here, just go ahead and insert a USB drive. Remember, on PS4 it must be XFAT or FAT32 in the file system. Once you have it formatted accordingly, navigate into your USB drive and you can copy and paste the package file that you just downloaded. Once it's been saved there, you can go ahead, right click, eject, and let's take the USB drive over to our console. With the USB drive inserted, make sure you have activated the jailbreak on your system. As you can see from my title ideas and such here, I've already run it. So I'm going to scroll up here, go to settings, go down to debug settings, game, package installer, wait for it to load up, and here is Apollo. So go ahead, highlight it, and let it install. Here we go. Once it's been installed, we can exit out here, and you should see Apollo Save Tool has been loaded in. So once we have this all installed, go ahead, open up Apollo Save Tool. Now once it loads up here, the first thing we should do is actually back up our existing saves, because you might want to convert your current account over if you have an offline account on here, and I'm going to put it like this. If you care about your saves, you're going to want to back them up here, and we're going to restore them to another account. We're doing it this method here because that's actually recommended by the developer Bucanero himself. When I was looking this up earlier, I came across this PSX Place thread, and if you see right here from Bucanero, he states, you can use Apollo Save Tool to activate with a custom account ID, or use the auto-generated fake account value. I can't say if games or trophies will have issues afterwards. It seems the common recommendation is to activate a new, clean account. 
You can do as Barian suggests, activate a new account, then use Apollo to export saves and then import resign them back into the new account. So in order to hopefully protect your saves here, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to straight up just do an account transfer. So if you're wanting your account activated, but you still want your saves, this is what you'll need to do. What you can do is navigate over to HDD saves and tap the X button right here and then wait for everything to load in. Once it does, you can go ahead and highlight the bulk save management if you just want to get all of your saves here, which is what I'm going to do. And we're going to copy all saves to USB, which is why we're going to have that USB drive still inserted. Go ahead, select that. And you have the options for USB 0 and USB 1. Uh, I'll say this, if you're not sure which one it is, USB 0 is going to be the rightmost USB port and USB 1 is going to be on the left. But if you're unsure, you can just try both options. So I'm going to tap X on copy to USB 0 and here we go, it's copying. On my console, I also do see my USB drive lit up, so I know that that was the right one but just wait a few moments here for everything to transfer over. And here we go. As you can see, all of your saves have now been backed up. So let's go ahead, hit the OK button. And from here, we can go ahead, close out of Apollo save tool for the time being, because now we're going to work on our actual user management. So to get this running, like it was stated earlier, it's going to be recommended to activate a brand new account. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to come up here and the first thing I'm going to do is actually rename this profile. So I'm going to edit this user and if you have one, all these steps are optional here, but I'm just going to do it for myself. I'm going to personally change this one to offline. So now with that successfully renamed, we can exit out of here, go over to your settings and now we're going to go over to login settings and go down to user management and you want to create a new user and go ahead, accept. We can skip PlayStation Network. And once we're here, this is what we're going to name our account. Now you can call this whatever you want to. If you want to call it activated or whatever else, that's up to you. I'm going to call mine Mario because, well, this is my account that I want to set up here and use for the foreseeable future. Once you have that named and set up, you can go ahead, confirm, hit OK, and we should be good at that point. We do now need to sign out. So what we can do is hold down the PlayStation button, go to power, go to switch user, and we're going to sign in to the account that we want to activate. So here we go. As you can see, it's looking a little bit different here because this is a net new account that we're creating. With the screen cleaned up a little bit here, let's go ahead and get this account activated. So we can navigate back over to Apollo Save Tool and give it a launch. And here we go. Once it comes up, all you need to do is navigate over to User Tools. And then the first option is going to be Activate PS4 Accounts. Tap the X button right here. And the one that we're going to be activating is going to be whichever one you want to activate. Again, offline is going to be the one that I'm going to keep offline and you can even delete that later. It's completely up to you, but this is the one I want to set to be online. Now go ahead and tap the X button right here. And there's a couple things that we can do. This is where you need to make a decision. If you just want to make an activated account just for the fun of it, you don't care about having it tied to PlayStation Network account, you can continue on by pressing done right here. But if you want to tie this to your specific PlayStation Network account, so that way you can have your own saves on here and you can transfer saves from a jailbroken PS4 to a legitimate PS4 or PS5, you must get your PlayStation Network account's ID. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I will say this used to be more difficult, but thanks to not only Apollo save tool, but also a tool like this from Flip Screen Games, this has made it much, much easier because you don't even need to sign into your account. What you can do is right here, it explains you'll be able to enter the username online ID of the account you'd like to look up and then search it on PSN. So what you need to do is where it says PSN username, you must enter your PSN username that you want to activate on your console. Once you have it entered, just click on submit. It's going to search. And here we go. Once it searches for it, you'll be able to find your online ID as well as your account ID and your encoded ID. The one that we care about here is going to be the account ID. So click on copy. The next thing we can do is go to the Rapid Tables website. All the links for everything will be down below in the description. And we want to do a conversion from decimal to hexadecimal. So what you need to do is right here in the enter decimal number, right click and hit paste. Now click on convert. And it's going to be this value right here where it says hex number 16 digits. These are going to be the 16 digits or 16 characters that you need to enter in. So what you can do is take a picture of this, save it somewhere, write it down. And if you want to tie your specific PlayStation Network account to your jailbroken PS4, this is going to be the value that you need. So go ahead, take this value, whatever you get, and now go over to your PS4. Since I want to put a specific account on here, yet again, I'm going to activate offline account. I'm going to select the account I want 
want to use. And instead of the randomly generated one right here, we're going to delete everything and now enter in that hex number that you just got. Now, once you have your account ID entered in, you want to check this. You want to double check it. You want to triple check it. And once you're sure you've entered it correctly, go ahead and hit done. Now it's going to tell you this account successfully activated. A system reboot might be required. If it says that, hit OK. Once that's done, we can now close out of here, close out of the Apollo save tool, and now we're going to completely restart our system. Well, once I get through everything here. But yeah, let's go ahead and reboot. Now once your PS4 restarts, it should be pretty obvious of the difference here if you have auto sign-in enabled or not. I guess we'll see here. But here we go. You could actually see this here was my previous offline account, but this here is the activated account. And if it's been activated, you can see that the username is going to be italicized. So if it is, congratulations, you did this properly. Now let's go ahead and sign into this account here. And I'll actually be able to show you this from a completely stock experience. First of all, you can see I do not have the jailbreak up and running. Here I have padlocks on everything. I have my PlayStation Plus showing up. But if I navigate over here to the user profile, well, I can hit update later. We don't have that same screen like we did before. But if I navigate over to settings and let's go over to application save data management, save data in system storage, copy to USB drive. You could see here that I do have this available. So I was not able to access this menu before. You can even access save data on a USB storage device, copy to system storage, and same thing right here. So congratulations, you're now able to access this. And the jailbreak's not even running yet. So this has now been set on this actual account. We do need the jailbreak to continue on with this tutorial though. So go ahead and load up your jailbreak. Since I'm using BDJB, I already have my disk inserted and I'm going to jailbreak the system real quick. And here we go, it got everything loaded in. We have FTP and the bin server should come up. So our jailbreak is still working as expected. But now what we need to do is if you had backed up your data before, we now need to take that data and restore it to our new account. So make sure you still have your USB drive with all that data on there and go ahead, open up Apollo save tool. When Apollo save tool opens up, navigate over to USB saves. Yet again, make sure you have a USB drive inserted. Go to the bulk save management option. Go to resign all decrypted saves. So there we go. They've all been resigned to this account. Now we're going to say copy all saves to HDD. And it's going to take all of our saves from that USB drive that have now been re-signed and it's going to pop them onto this account. And here we go, 17 saves copied to hard drive. You might have more, but that's just the ones that I have. So now with all of that completed, at this point, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Apollo save tool. Now with it closed, let's go ahead and try one of our games. So I have a couple that I could test here. One of them is going to be Bloodborne. Now you all have already seen, I set up this Mario account in front of you all. This here was not on my profile before. My old one I changed to offline, and this one I just migrated everything over to. I have a save right at the beginning of Bloodborne, so let's go ahead and fire this up. Here we go, we have our patches applied. That one is not required here but we just need to uh, load up that save. So play offline, checking save data. Here we go. I can even go to load game. I have one right there at the very beginning. So I can hit OK, hit OK. Let's go ahead, load in. And here we go. You all can see, I just fast forwarded that, but I didn't cut out anything. But as opposed to going through the actual intro and all that stuff, uh, I'm right here at the beginning, was able to load up a save. The second one I can try out, which I messed around with a little bit before, was PT. Now, the first time you ever launch PT, it's going to have a menu that you need to select your options with. If you do not get that menu, that means you've already automatically loaded up a save. So let's go ahead and give that a try. We'll fire this thing up. Got the patches loaded in. And here we go. There was no menu at the very beginning. So since we don't have that, that yet again, like I said, means that we were able to load in a save successfully. And this was not a save that was brand new on this account. This is one that I was able to bring over. And we can walk through the door. And yep, everything is working as expected. So that's about all there is to it. I'll go ahead and close out of here, but congratulations, you've now been able to set up a new account on your system, you've been able to activate it, and you've been able to retain all of your saves if you followed all the steps on here. That's about it for this video though. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. 
But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.